Snowpiercer is Bong Joon-ho's movie that came out in 2014. I'm late to this. I actually never saw this movie until now. Today we kind of had a lazy day watching movies. We watched Jojo Rabbit. Still a fantastic movie. If I had to redo that review, I would have given it a 9, 7, 8. But we're just getting sidetracked. We also watched Snowpiercer, and I saw it for the first time. I liked it so much that I wanted to review it, because I feel like it deserves it. Because of what I've heard about when it was being made, the studio wanted it to like be completely re-edited, so it was more appealing to a wider audience. And I'm really glad that Bong Joon-ho was like, fuck that, we're not doing that, we are going to make this movie the way I want it, or we're not making it at all. And I respect that so much, that's why... He's so cool. But in this movie, it takes place in the future. It's a uh, Arctic, Ice Age, sort of apocalyptic world where if you go outside, you freeze. And because of that, there's really not many people alive. There's probably like a thousand people, something like that. And they're all on this train that goes around the world. The train is separated by class. The back of the train is very poor and it's very terrible living conditions. And then the front of the train is the rich and they live very happily and luxuriously. And Chris Evans' character is in the back of the train and he causes a revolution, a revolt, to get to the front of the train so they stop getting treated like total shit. First, I want to say that Chris Evans in this movie probably gives his best performance I've ever seen him in any movie. To that, I thought he was great in Knives Out, and he's obviously always great as Steve Rogers, but this, he had to go to so many different levels of emotion. There's a lot happens to his character. He has a pretty dark backstory, so he has to hit a lot of different emotional beats, and he does a really good job. I think this is probably his best performance of his career. I really have to think about it, but I think it is. I'm not going to get into spoilers or anything. I know I normally do when I review a movie that's been out for a while. This movie's been out for almost six years now. But I feel like not everyone has seen it. Like, I've seen it for the first time, and I feel like a lot of people haven't seen this movie. So I don't want to have any spoilers in this so that you guys can go in it just as surprised as I was. I want to say I really enjoy the refreshing style of Bong Joon-ho's directing. I really think it is so stylistic and it's so fresh. It's so original. The whole concept's very original too. And I, that's what I love about this movie. The concept's outlandish. You can poke holes at the plot and sort of the idea of the whole thing, but it's very original, it's very thought-provoking, and I think it's very fun, too. This movie is very disturbing, too. There are some themes that are very unsettling. There's some shots, some things that happen to characters that it's just hard to watch. And I'll be thinking about it for a very long time. This movie also dives deep into, like, a mirror to our society. How we view people who are less fortunate than us and how we separate people by class, and how we look at each other as humanity. And those themes are very interesting, and they're very thought-provoking, and they really make you think. And he does a great job of incorporating it into this very interesting plot. The action scenes are done very well. There's a sequence where the lights go out, and they really are only fighting with like axes and knives. And I thought the whole thing was very well edited, very well shot, it was very interesting. and. I just think how this movie is paced with the action that's thrown in there and with some good character moments and like I said, some very thought-provoking stuff. And I gotta give him all the props in the world for that. I will say if you're gonna watch this movie, go into it knowing it's not like an action set piece sort of thing. It really is about characters and scenarios and how we view ourselves as humans and the classes and stuff. Kind of like who I was describing before. So if you're gonna see this movie, just know that. And like I said before, I just love his style of directing. It's very different. You can tell he really cares about each individual frame in each shot. He wants to make sure everything he makes is perfect. And if it's not perfect, he's not gonna make it. He's not gonna release it. And that's why I respect him. In the end though, Snowpiercer is a really great movie. It's a lot of fun. It's very interesting. It makes you think. It's paced very well. The action's well done. It's a very compelling story with some great performances. And I think if you're a fan of movies, and now if you've seen Parasite and you're a big fan of Bong Joon-ho, you should definitely check this one out. I'm going to give Snowpiercer an 8. Definitely one of the most original movies I've seen in a while, and I'm really glad we got something this refreshing. And I'm mad I didn't see it till now. This movie's been almost out for six years. I'm mad I'm just seeing it now because I saw Parasite and I wanted to see this movie. But I'm glad I finally did. So Snowpiercer, please go watch it. Please let me know what you guys think. I think you guys really should do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And click here to see more of Davey Dave's Takes.